What's up Sickle Cell Warriors? It's Dr. O and the grind never stops. All right, Sickle Cell Warriors, today we'll be talking about a very important topic in regards to having a care for Sickle Cell. We'll be talking about two things. What are the possible care options for Sickle Cell? And then number two, will there ever be a good care for Sickle Cell? Now, sickle cell warriors, as you may be aware, there are actually cure options for sickle cell. There are possibilities of living without the disease. And I'm gonna talk about the possible options that we do have. The first option of having a cure is called a bone marrow transplant. And pretty much what a bone marrow transplant does is it replaces the bone marrow in your body and replaces it with a matching donor so you can have a healthy, normal bone marrow. And the reason why that care is sickle cell is because it pretty much replaces the source of the sickles, which comes from the sickled bone marrow transplant. So by replacing that bone marrow with a normal one, the blood is no longer producing abnormal sickle cells. Now, when I'm talking about these care options, I want to present the pros and the cons. And so for bone marrow transplants, the pro of doing this is obviously you won't have sickle cell disease, which is which is great. However, there are many severe risks that come along with doing a bone marrow transplant. The reason why doing a bone marrow transplant is risky is because if you do try to replace the bone marrow in your body, there's a chance that the bone marrow could be rejected, which pretty much means that it did not actually fit in your body. And as a result, that could cause a lot of life-threatening complications. Those complications include death, infections, cancer, and so many other severe issues. And so that's why you don't often hear about many people getting cured from sickle cell through bone marrow transplants because it could cause death. And so I often don't recommend people to go through about that because you know you don't want to face with that possibility of having to die because of a surgery like that. Bone marrow transplants are only usually recommended when you're just going through uncontrollable pain like you're literally just going through it every single day and no matter what you do no matter what type of treatment you take nothing works like it's like it's pretty much bone marrow transplants should be like the worst of the worst case scenarios where you've pretty much done everything in your ability and nothing works and the pain is just completely uncontrollable. With that being said, there are positive stories of people being cared with sickle cell and whenever I watch these, they really do make me happy. And so I want to show you guys one of a really touching story of how a good kid named Malik got cared. It was really lucky and it was really lucky that my brother was a compatible um, bone marrow donor. I hope he doesn't have to go through that again or anything like that again. It's like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. I don't remember much about having sickle cell, but uh, I remember feeling pain then. It was more the pain of like when you get hit by a baseball bat or something. Like I don't have to worry about it anymore. The only pain that I need to worry about is if I stub my toe or something. Really touch the story, right? Malik seems like a great kid and I'm super happy for him. I'm happy that he was able to get a care and hopefully that inspires other people with sickle cell who cannot possibly control what they're going through to perhaps maybe go farther into that option and see if it makes sense for them. Now, the second option for sickle cell care is called gene therapy. And so again, I'm gonna discuss the pros and I'm gonna discuss the cons. And again, the pro for this is you get cured with sickle cell. Now, unfortunately, there are some cons, but the cons don't seem to be as riskier in terms of health complications than the bone marrow transplant. 
Now, essentially, the cons of this is gene therapy is a very, very new medical procedure that even I'm not really quite familiar with, to be honest. So the first con is there's not that much information on it. Although I have read and I've heard of several cases of people getting cured by gene therapy. Now the second con is because there's a lack of information, there's also a lack of accessibility. There's not many facilities and a lot of areas where you can just go and get a gene therapy anywhere you want. So you would have to go to areas with very advanced medical technology to even begin to have access to gene therapy. And then the third one is because this is such a rare treatment and it's not really common out there, it is extremely expensive to get this gene therapy option. So it's not really accessible to many of us, unfortunately. But that's okay. But then again, gene therapy is another option that we can look to if, you, if you're really desperately seeking for a care. Now, those are the two care options I'm familiar with. But hey, sickle cell warriors, if you know a care, comment down below. And you know, if you know a way to help us, please inform the community so we can all learn from each other. Will there ever be a affordable, accessible care for everyone with sickle cell disease. One that you don't have to necessarily risk your life to get, or another one where you don't have to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to be able to access gene therapy. Now, if I'm being honest with you guys, the answer for me is I really don't know. But I like to be positive and optimistic and I definitely believe there's a strong possibility that we can find uh, affordable care for people with sickle cell. The reason why I believe this is because I recognize how smart and capable America is whenever there's a pertinent issue. Now let me expand on what I'm talking about sickle cell warriors. For example, we just recently had a pandemic and the COVID hit us and pretty much caused a lot of unnecessary deaths and strong illnesses. It took the world in America a good year, year and a half to find a vaccine to actually help people with COVID and who are affected by the disease. Now, the reason why we were able to find something so quickly is because we were all incentivized to do something about the COVID because there were so many people being affected by it. And because so many people were affected by it, that kind of forced us to focus our attention on the COVID issue. And so what am I saying, sickle cell warriors? If we can somehow incentivize people to bring more awareness to sickle cell and actually put more energy in towards finding a care, I truly do believe a care is possible. Because I know and believe in people and I believe that when there's an issue that's very problematic, we are very capable of adapting to that situation. So just like we were able to find a vaccination for COVID, I do believe there's a cure possible out there for sickle cell, but we just need to really put our energy and focus into truly finding one. And so that's why I'm making videos like these to spread awareness and put more activity out there into encouraging other people to learn about sickle cell and care about the disease and hopefully put more of an effort into funding and researching the medical condition. All right, sickle cell warriors, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I plan on posting every week on Wednesday. So tune in for that. And once again, Thank you for blessing me.